Hello Opals users. In this video tutorial, I would like to illustrate how to add additional Z39.50 resources to your Opal site, which will then be used in your Z import functionality. Adding additional resources can greatly increase the likelihood of you finding MARC records that you may not have found on your existing resources. I will be referring to this document that was uh, supplied by Todd Catalano, a library uh, resource technician at Erie One Bosi's school library system, and he was very nice to supply this comprehensive list. I'm just going to go down the list and point out a few sites. You've got Cornell University, Duke University, Indiana University, the Metropolitan Museum of Art. Let's say, for example, you're uh, you're increasing your art collection and you're not finding items in other resources, this could be a great resource. I'd also like to point out another resource that we have found to be quite good and that is Sitka K-12 Consortium in Canada. This one is quite good for scholastic books um, which are somewhat elusive in many databases because they change their ISBNs uh, when they get the rights to a book. So I am going to refer to this, and both the video and this document will be on our uh, help pages right here at under Tutorials, and the URL is help.opalsinfo.net, and you will find the video and the document under the tutorials, as well as the video that will also be placed on our YouTube channel. So I'm going back to my library. I'm going to up to Administration and Preferences. When the preference window opens, I will go to Z39.50 servers, and I'm going to add Cornell University to start with. So I'm going to click Add, and a template will come up. You will copy and paste from the document uh, to the template. So here's the template, here's my document, and you have to be very careful you don't capture any of the colons or slashes. Uh, when you add a Z39.50 resource, it doesn't take well with any other characters. In fact, it won't work. So it's very sensitive to typos or additional characters. So I've copied catalog library cornell.edu right up and just before the colon. And by the way, the host is the first part of this. The port are the numbers following the host and the name is the, is the uh, automation site that they use. So we'll, we will be using all three of these pieces of information. So I've, I'm going to copy this again, just make sure. I'll minimize. I'm going to paste that into the host. I'm going to pull the document up again. I see that it's 7090 and Voyager. I'll just type in the 7090 and I'll paste in the Voyager. So this port is 7090 and the name of their system is Voyager and let's see what their syntax is. Their syntax is US Mark Mark 8. You might see one for example Indiana Statewide Consortium which uses XML UTF-8. By the way UTF-8 is a, is a new resource for syntax encoding that it does very well with foreign language diacritics. I just thought I'd point that out. So we've got um, US Mark Mark 8. I'll remember that. And I'm going to just take a copy Cornell University to add to my template. So it's US Mark Mark 8. And I'll put, I'll paste in uh, Cornell University down at the description, which is what will show when you go to Z import. For all your sites other than your own library, the tab is always disabled. The list is always enabled, and the CERC date is disabled always, and the student ILL is disabled always. Just to point out, the username and the password would only be used if you're subscribing to a service such as OCLC or some other uh, service that supplies MARC records. For example, the uh, British National Library requires a username and password. They don't charge. Um, but you do have to uh, contact them and they'll give you a username and password, as would OCLC. But everything on this list that I have here, you do not need a username or password. So I'm going to save that. I always recommend uh, testing it right away or after you've added a few, testing them all. 
So I'm going to go up to items, Z import, and just test Cornell to make sure I didn't have any typos or capture any uh, characters. I'm going to type solar and do a search. We'll just wait a second and I think we'll get, well, we got 9,929 hits on solar using Cornell University. I should also point out that some of the, the resources do not accept the Anywhere search. So if you get a message saying, um, uh, usually it says something about truncated error or something like that, you might have to use something like title or, or, or author keyword or the like or isbin, etc. cetera. Um, but most sites do accept anywhere, and that's what I use all the time for isbins, for titles, for authors, and the like. Okay, I'm going back to administration, preferences, and I'll add the Sitka library to my uh, listing. I'm going to Z39.50 servers. I will click add and my template comes up. I'm going to click this. I'm going to go down to the Sitka library, which I've mentioned is quite good. I'm going to copy the host right up to and not including the colon. I see that it's 210, so I can type that in. All right, so I'm going to copy this into the host. I see that it's port 210. Um, I know it's Sitka. You could copy it. I'll just type it in. I'm going back to the list. And I see that the syntax is XML UTF-8. So I'll remember that. And I'm just going to copy um, the name of the site and put it into the description. Sorry about the copying. I'm trying to be very careful. There we go. So uh, XML UTF-8. So I'm going to minimize this. Go back here. It's XML UTF-8. No username needed. No password needed. Description will be the name of the site. Sitka K-12 Consortium. The tab is always disabled. The list is always enabled. CERC data is disabled, student IL is disabled, and we'll click Save. Once this is saved, I will go do a quick search using Sitka under Z, uh, Z import and make sure that it all works fine. So I'm going to drop this down. I'm going to go to Sitka. I'm going to type Solar. Sometimes Sitka is a little slower than other sites, but it, re it really comes up with good resources. So I'll click Search. My results have shown up, so I know that I added it correctly. I found 7,813 items under the word solar, um, so I know that this works. Once again, um, the, the clip will be posted on our YouTube channel, and it will also be posted along with that list under tutorials on help.opalsinfo.net. Thank you very much, and I hope this uh, short tutorial helps out in adding more resources to your system.